friends and welcome back to another video i am so glad you are here we are doing lots of cleaning today just picking up my house so right now i'm just picking up my dining room table it had been so cluttered and i'm showing you that i did my nails the other day with gel nail polish and i'm just showing you the brand and it turned out really good um, hence the thumbs up <laughs> Um, I will say I did, so I did it Saturday and I'm doing my cleaning today. Today is Monday and it didn't chip, but I can tell that it's about to just from the, like the cleaning today. I washed a little bit of dishes and well, you'll see what I did. So nothing crazy, like no deep cleaning, but I don't think it's going to last like a full two weeks, which is what most of my, when I go to get my nails done with that's how long it lasts but it's okay it's an at-home gel manicure kit that I purchased and it does look really really good like I said I don't think it's gonna last as long as my usual but that's okay we'll see how it goes So right now I'm just getting all of that put away I think I'm gonna have to find some type of proper storage for it but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in the box where it came from and then continue cleaning up all the trash and everything that gets on this table you know, we used to eat at this table every night for dinner, and now we have been eating at the island because the table is so messy. And it's like I started using it as a place, like a catch-all, and it's kind of just become that. I hate to admit it, but it has the last few months, and that's courtesy of Mr. Charlie. He finally got a hold of one of my christmas ornaments i didn't think he was going to mess with but anyways i really want to get back to eating dinner at the table i miss it i miss it's just so nice like even if the kids don't eat what we eat they're teenagers and sometimes they don't like what i cook and that's okay i just they know to make their own food but even in times like that or if we're eating the same thing or even if we go get pizza or fast food if we're all at the dinner table it's so nice because we're so busy with work and school so it's nice to just sit and talk and catch up for the day on everything that's going on you know all the teenage gossips <laughs> if you have if you have teenagers I'm sure you know if you have kids I'm sure you know I remember when they were just in elementary school we still heard about everything so I'm sure you guys hear it but it's nice it's a way to kind of stay close and everything so I am now clearing all of my Amazon packages that I have for Christmas that I need to wrap Ooh, it's coming up quick so I need to clear all of that and then we're just going to keep cleaning off the table and then I'm going to spray it with some of the method wood cleaner. It is my absolute favorite. And then we are going to move into the living room. Oh, I ain't going to live like this no more. Most of my life's been waging war. I found peace, I could have swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no So here is a glimpse of my filthy living room. I The camera doesn't pick up all the dog hair too well, but Charlie just sheds like crazy. I tell you guys in every video, this guy, he's a lab. Charlie is my yellow lab. If you're new, welcome. You will see him a lot. Today I had the back porch open, like the back screen porch, so he hung out there a lot. He was sunbathing and I just left the door open. It is, I think the high today was 72. So in Florida, that is very rare. And I had all of the windows open. It felt so good. It's been cold at night the past few nights. And this coming week, this current week that we're in, the next few nights are gonna be quite chilly. And we are so excited, well, at least I am, because Sunday on Christmas, it's supposed to be like really cold all day. And I just cannot wait. I'm so excited. I can't tell you. I don't remember the last time we had like a genuinely cold Christmas, so we won't get a snowy Christmas, that's for sure, but if it's cold, I think we're all pretty happy. It just makes it kind of feel more like Christmas, so anyway, so I am back in the living room, and I am folding all this laundry. 
you know, a few videos ago, I did a really big laundry video and I caught up on all the laundry and I did for a couple of weeks after that, I was so good about making sure we did one load a day. We folded it that day. We put it away that day. And I was like the main one that stayed on top of it. And to be honest, it lasted like two or three weeks and it was great, but it's hard when it's just kind of you the, who's the one like pushing it. And we are a family of four and I work all day and it, it's just hard. So obviously laundry's kind of been backed up and it's just been sitting on the couch. I think this load has been sitting here for like four or five days. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I'm sure it happens to you guys. If not, no judgment. So I hate it. Like I love when the couch is clear and there's nothing on it. It's just been really hard like the past week to do it because it was the last week of school and it's super busy. We had testing, we have our holiday party at school and it's crazy for teachers that last week. So like I said, I'm now on winter break, so I'm getting all caught up. I'm gonna go ahead and fold these few loads. I have laundry going, I just switched it. We're gonna get all of this folded. We're gonna put it all away right now. And then I'm gonna make sure to try to keep up with it and try to also get my, you know, the kids and Darren to kind of help with that. And they're pretty good. I just have to kind of remember to ask. Feel stronger. Gasoline on hidden desires. So I am doing my socks, organizing the socks. I hate organizing the socks. You know, the, the issue is I think that our kids are older now, so their socks are like the same size as ours and they look similar, so it's hard to, I just need to get like a permanent marker and write the initials, but like I have black socks, but are they my daughter's or are they mine? I don't know. And so I mean, it just gets mixed up and it's a pain to kind of have to go through. So but I guess it's part of life or you know you put all the socks in the washer the dryer and then you're missing matching pairs I'm sure you guys understand the dryer still eats people's socks to this day <laughs> also you can see in the background I have my phone set up and I was just kind of listening to um, I think it's life with Cambria she posted a video today and I was just watching it to get myself motivated and keep on cleaning my son was using the big TV for like a video game and that's fine. So I just put the, put this on my phone and I was actually playing it while I was folding laundry because I was hating to do this. So you'll see me kind of keep looking back sometimes to watch it, but I love her. I love watching her videos. She's just like so normal and down to earth. So uh, check out my Christmas leggings. They're, they're pretty fun. I wore this to work the other day. That was nice. Those are remnants of my Lula Row phase. Let me know if you went through your own phase too a few years ago. Did you go in seven months? 
folded I'm so happy so we are going to I don't look like it I'm moving like a sloth but I swear I was excited we are going to put it all in the baskets I have one basket for my kids and the other basket is my husband like mine and my husband's laundry so we are going to I'm gonna have my son help me carry the baskets up and then we are going to put it away and get it out of the way and then we are just gonna keep on cleaning so I'm gonna head upstairs and get this put away you're going to see me do the shirts first. I'm going to hang up my shirts. So I have found that this way to do my shirts is the easiest. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. It's nothing, you know, complex, but I love laying them out flat and then getting the hangers set up and then just, you know, putting the hangers in as I go. You'll see in a second. And again, I'm sure you've seen it before, but it really does, I think, make it a lot easier to just fold or sorry, hang up your shirts if you have a lot of shirts that you're hanging up. So here I am just hanging up my shirts. I do have my shirts color coded. I've done that for as long as I can remember. It makes it a lot easier for me. But looking at my closet, like in the background, literally gives me anxiety. I cannot wait to purge and to clean with the new year coming up. I've already, and I'm on break, I've already been thinking of all of the things that I want to get rid of. I want to go through all the kitchen cabinets and the kitchen drawers and just go through each room and purge as much as I can but the closet is something that I really want to do just even if I can't get it perfectly organized and clean right now because I don't want to spend my whole break cleaning and organizing but even if I can't do it all completely that's okay but even if I can just go in and you know get like a bag full of clothes I know I'm never gonna wear and just donate them that's fine I never understood a word they said. Running in the woods so lonely and still Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Try to keep it up and standing tall Why don't you stay, stay cause 
So I'm going to finish cleaning up in the living room. I just straightened up the couch and now I'm just getting all of the socks that Charlie pulls out of the basket and chews on and the trash and everything else and putting that away. And I'm going to vacuum, don't worry, but that's gonna come later. So I did that really quick and now I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna get some toilet paper put in the downstairs bathroom and then put this upstairs. Then I'm gonna work on cleaning off the island wiping down the counters, washing some dishes, no deep cleaning or anything like that, just doing some basic pickup. I'm going to wash these dishes. I didn't have a lot to wash, but I am going to go ahead and get all of them washed and put on some towels to dry. And I'm using the Scrub Mommy sponge. A couple videos ago, I purchased this on a whim and I've never used it. I just know I see it all the time in the cleaning videos I watch and I hear so much about it, even on like TikTok. And so I was like, okay, I'll try it. And I like it. I. I, I don't it's nothing crazy I don't know I'm not like a crazy like crazy about it I guess like some people and but I like it however if you look to the left on that brown stand is my typical brown sponge I think I'm just gonna keep buying them it's a little less expensive to just to buy a pack of those and they work just as good <music> We are going to now clean out the sink. I'm just gonna wash it really quick with the sponge. And I love sink cleanings. Anytime I see it in a video, I just, it's like my favorite part to watch. I don't know why, it's just very, very satisfying. So I'm just gonna scrub the sink really quick and then we are going to rinse it out. And then we are going to wipe my counters. 
If you are enjoying this video so far and finding it motivating and satisfying, I hope you will like this video and subscribe to my channel. It only takes a quick second and it helps my channel out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new, welcome. I am glad you are here. And if you are returning and you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you, even though I can't see you, but you know, you get the, you get the, the point. Make sure you take some time to say hi in the comments. I love chatting with you guys and I really do mean that. Let me know where you're from or if you're cleaning with me today or just kind of sitting on your couch and watching it on your phone to relax. Sometimes I do that. I just find it so satisfying to watch cleaning videos. I love them. And I know everybody's like also watching the TikTok videos and those are satisfying too, but I love watching just good old fashioned YouTube cleaning videos like I was watching earlier. I don't know, it's just more relatable. I don't know, it's, it's longer satisfaction and not just a quick like one minute video. So anyways, now we are upstairs and Mondays I usually do like a deep clean of my bathroom. And to be honest, I probably needed to but I am not going to. I The only thing I didn't do that I usually do is scrub the shower and it does need it, but I was just, I didn't. I didn't feel like it, <laughs> so, and that's okay. So I didn't. So I'm going to clear off the counter, get rid of the laundry. I'm going to clean the sink because it is disgusting. And this is the Clorox bleach spray. I'm gonna spray it, I'm gonna let it sit, and then I'm gonna clean the toilet, take out the trash, wipe the counter, and scrub the sink and then we are done in the bathroom. So now I'm going to work on vacuuming half the house. I'm gonna do the stairs first, just sweep all of Charlie's hair, or sorry, his fur down the stairs. And then we are going to vacuum the living room and the dining room and then the rest of the house. I just had my son do that part.
so this glob of hair at the bottom of the stairs is what I swept down. Don't worry, that's not Charlie's hair that just collected there the past few days. That's, <laughs> that's just the hair. Well, it is actually from the stairs, but not just like a glob that's sitting there. So it, not that it matters. Anyway, so we're just going to vacuum the uh, this entrance. And now I'm in the hallway and we're vacuuming the hallway, obviously. And then we are going to do the dining room.